armed with a brick used to hit him in the face. This story almost got some legs when a famous reporter named Amy Siskind, I never heard me, heard of her before, but she's one of these people with 350,000 plus Twitter followers. So somebody's paying attention to her. Anyway, Amy decided that uh, there was a story out in Los Angeles where a, a large, uh, at least five black people beat up a 92-year-old uh, guy from Mexico up here visiting. And Amy decided, A, the people that beat the head, despite video evidence and witnesses, uh, Amy decided that the people who beat the hell out of this Mexican guy were not, were not black, they were white, and it was all the fault of Donald Trump. Lots of other junior politicos around the country picked up the beat. Here's one from my little hometown, from a former member of the city council, frequent guest on the radio show I used to have. She did the same thing. She blamed Trump for a bunch of white people beating up this old Mexican guy when it was the fellas. Let's take a look at that story. You're looking at a bloody 92-year-old grandfather just moments after his family says he was viciously attacked by this woman, armed with a brick used to hit him in the face, as well as several other men who later jumped in. The grandfather's name is Rodolfo Rodriguez. He's visiting L.A. from Mexico, and the attack left him in bad shape. Two broken ribs, a broken cheekbone, and lots of bruising. He's only been here for two days, and this was the welcome they gave. Grandson Eric Mendoza says Rodriguez was walking down this sidewalk near 118th and Central on 4th of July when he accidentally bumped into the woman's child while trying to pass them. No more room for me. Mendoza translated for us as Rodriguez explained what happened next. And then when he turned his back, he just saw that they just tossed him on the floor and she started uh, hitting him and then she grabbed the brick and started hitting him with the brick. And then I uh, know where he, he saw like three or four other guys just come rushing and just start stomping on him. A puddle of blood on the sidewalk marks the spot where it all went down. He doesn't even remember if he, was, if he yelled or anything, but all he felt was just a hit. The woman you hear on this video witnessed the attack and intervened. She snapped the photo of the alleged attacker and then confronted her. And I tried to talk to her. I saw you. I took your picture. You talked to him with a big block concrete in his face. And that's why I tried to uh, call to the police. She also says the woman and the other attackers made racial comments towards Rodriguez. Go to back your country. Why you here? And but that seems like you something like that, you know. Supposedly they told him to go back to Mexico. That's all we know. Rodriguez is in a lot of pain, and now he's using his family for support as he recovers. How can you grab a weapon to defend yourself mm -hmm. against a 90-year-old man? What threat can he actually pose to you for you to grab a weapon and defend yourself? There's no threat. He couldn't even lift that brick if he tried. Anybody who bought this white people beating up Hispanics at random in L.A., well, all I can tell you is they haven't read Don't Make the Black Kid Angry or White Girl Bleed a lot. We spent a lot of time there documenting black on Hispanic assault, black on senior assault. It, it rarely goes the other way around. Hispanics and recent immigrants and visitors from Mexico are victims of are targets of assault because it is perceived they have money, they won't fight back, and they will not go to the police. That makes them perfect targets. That makes them targets of deceit by Amy Siskin and my little buddy from my little hometown who somehow can't get their mind around the fact that black people are all over the country We've documented this. We're not just saying this. I'm just we're not repeating something. I heard something out on the street corner. And we've documented so many times this black on Hispanic violence. They can't get their mind around it. Well, they better get their mind around it. Just for their own personal safety. 
even if at some point that does make the black kids angry.